It's more than a roast. It's everything and everyone you need, all at one table. Now in all my escapades in the kitchen, I think I've learned to, to make a couple of things pretty well. One is a scrambled egg, one is my world famous prawn chowder. But I've always wanted to know how to make a good beef stroganoff. We've got Chef Chart with us this morning, who's going to help me out with that. And how are you doing? Very well yourself. Very, very good, thank you. You've got all the ingredients set up there here. And we're going to be making a good beef stroganoff. Now, I want mine nice and creamy and uh, it's got to have that rich flavour. Is that how this is going to turn out? Hopefully. Absolutely. It's all about those wonderful flavour combinations coming together. As you said, that creaminess, that's what a really good beef stroganoff yeah. is. Lots of mushrooms, lots of meaty sort of flavours nice coming through. So the whole, absolutely. It's a whole combination coming together. Beautiful. So what we've got going off is just browning some onions here at the moment and then we're going to add in our mushrooms and then some lovely strips of beef. Okay, cool. And we've got some herbs here as well. We'll be adding herbs just at the end. There's a little sort of a chef sort of one just to sort of really take it on to another level. Remember, it's all about convenience, really, convenience sort of food at the end of the day. Yeah. So we make it simple, but we can just add that little sort of five second sort of zizz to it, that little gourmet sort of extravagance yeah. by some really lovely fresh yeah. herbs. I'm going to show you how to cut those up a so bit later on. So you might just take us through the ingredients. You had the onions in there. Correct. We have some mushroom. Correct. We have some strips of beef. Correct. We have our basil over cool. here, which is nice and fragrant. Oh, beautiful. It just smells absolutely incredible, don't you think? Lovely and fresh. And then some parsley over here. Indeed. We have our green peppers and orange peppers and orange peppers and yellows and reds. All kinds of peppers you can imagine. Absolutely. All colour. All the lovely colour there. And then we have the beef stroganoff powder. What do you, what do you call this? Well, it's just sort of your, your sort of canor beef stroganoff. It's going to give you that creaminess, the voluptuousness, that, that sort of the thickness of that lovely sauce that we all desire. Okay. Just a little bit of seasoning quickly. Always really important with cooking is a little bit of seasoning there. So uh -huh. a bit of salt and pepper. And then really important, you want it to brown it. So leave it alone, all right? There's nothing worse. Remember Granny Grandpa, they always come into the kitchen, guess what? They want to come and stir. They're like, yeah, you yeah. step it in here. You know what? You want to stir? There's your pan, stir here. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Okay, remember. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Yes, sir. So you just keep that there. Yes, sir, I Brilliant. leave it alone. God, you're a fantastic assistant like that. <laughs> Brilliant. So leave it in there, we'll get those lovely flavours. Remember, colour is flavour. All right, so you want to really start developing all Colour is flavour. So you're saying I would taste better than you? Uh, no. no, I don't think so. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean by that, colour right, is flavour? Right, colour is flavour. You want to get those lovely sort of brown, crisp, caramelised pieces on, on the on your meat, your mushrooms, your onions. We started with the onions there. Yeah. We saw how lovely and brown they were. Now we're going to do that to the mushrooms. Remember, mushrooms take a lot shorter period to, to, uh, to cook. Yeah. And again, I don't want to sort of let them shrivel up. I want that still that, I want to get almost that meatiness that umami coming through from the mushroom as well. The umami. Interesting flavor, the umami. I've which heard it's, got, it's got something to do with Japanese. It is, absolutely. Sort of describing savoriness, which yes. is typical sort of a mushroom sort of flavor there. So we've got that there. I want to keep the lovely structure of the mushrooms there and then obviously the beef as well. I'm going to get those lovely sort of caramelized sort of flavors. Remember, made it like a braai almost. You've got all those lovely sort of caramelized pieces, those crispy bits. Yeah. And that's what's great. And that's going to be the lovely depth of flavor at the end of the day. So really important. Put it on, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. I like that kind of thing because you can put it on the fire on the heat and then just kind of sit, chill, you know, watch some TV, be like, oh, what's going on in the sport? Yeah. Three talk, uh, ah, ha, 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 and then go back to it. You know? Absolutely, come backwards cool. and forwards. What I'm going to do is just quickly slice up a red pepper here. You can use green, obviously. Enjoy the red because it's lots of lovely colour, yeah. and then it's going to work exceptionally well. The lovely fresh herbs a little bit later, later on that I'm going to sort of add into that there. So again, it's entirely up to you there. You can obviously sort of just slice it into strips there, or if you really want to sort of be chefy, you can really start changing that and actually make some dices and strips. Imagine how cool that would look. Man. So you can really put some awesome shapes into there. So put some lovely strips of pepper there. So just again, skin side down when you cutting the actual pepper there so you don't actually start to uh, blemish the flesh itself oh, there. Oh, is that why you do it So that really important there. Okay. And again, as I said, we could sort of, let's make, you know, let's get a little bit sort of carried away here. We can be really quite um, festive with that there. Imagine just some sort of diced piece as well. Now, the great thing about using like colored peppers, your orange, your yellow, and your red peppers, mm -hmm. it's actually pre-cooked. It's cooked by the sun. So oh. again, there's lots of lovely sugary sort of flavors there. Is that how they get like that? Well, I honestly get... didn't know that, as in like the, the, the ones are, riper than the other ones. Well, it is. Basically, in essence, your coloured peppers are a ripe pepper at the yes. end of the day. So, again, it leads less cooking time, it's full of juiciness, and it's got some wonderful sweet flavours oh, coming through. It's going to complement everything else as well that's going on. Have a bit of a bite. Oh, Brilliant. man. So, imagine now I'm going to even just make some little diamonds, you know, girl's best friend. <laughs> How about that in your food there? Say, so, darling, look at that, you know, bit of diamonds, your supper tonight. Girl, should be as happy darling, as that. I have in my hand. They're know, diamonds. Girl. Keep her quiet for five minutes. Brilliant. <laughs> girl. Right, so let's just give us another little stir here. So, it's all starting to cook down really quite nicely. Oh, man. And again, really just leave it on the plate there. All that sort of water that's been sort of in, in it, it sort of has it's, it's, it's come out of the meat, the mushrooms there, and now we really just leave it, all that steam, the steam's just about all evaporated, and then it's just gonna start to brown and caramelize very nicely. Add the peppers, start to soften those in, mm -hmm. and then we're just literally gonna pour some um, lovely low-fat milk in there. Cool. If you wanna be healthy like me, or if you wanna be sort of extravagant <laughs> give, like give you. Give us a side profile you know, there. 
Oh, Panty hey, uh, girdles no, no. on, nice and tight, and no. I go home at night, it all pops out. But anyway, um, <laughs> so that's what we did a little bit later on. Um, so yeah, keep it nice and uh, slim and trim. Lovely low-fat milk. Again, you could use cream if you want. So yeah, lots of variations or substitutes. Well, if you really wanted, just water. Yeah. If you're still on, you know, you don't have milk, so you don't have to run back to the shops again. But again, Pick and Pay's got absolutely everything for you. Cool. So you've got low-fat milk there as well. And then we're going to finish it off with a yeah. lovely beef stroganoff there, and just just to give that lovely depth of flavour. It's going to thicken it there. Yes. Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. Is done. Interesting enough, using water instead of milk. But then how would you get that creaminess? Or does that come from the, the flavour packets? That comes from the flavour packets. That comes from the flavour packets there as well. So it's all done for you. So again, you don't have to have absolutely everything there, yeah. but again, the list is nice and short and sharp. You've got a few op options there, like I've op opted to use the red pepper as opposed to the green pepper. Yeah. And again, milk, water, entirely up to you. We're going to be really extravagant. Have, have you followed the recipe? Because I've followed it. Step one, slice the onion and pepper. Have you done that, right? That's yeah. done, absolutely. Step two, in the pan, brown onion, in two teaspoons sunflower oil, add beef strips, mushrooms, pepper, and brown for five minutes. We've been there doing we it, following it to the T, like at the back of the packet. Add 500 and then you got, okay, you got that all in. You remember it, it right? Remember it all, absolutely. Okay, cool. And that's how simple it is as well. So you can actually just sort of get creative as you go along. You don't sort of have to follow See, regimented there. I'm one of those blokes, so I'd cut this up and put it in a cup, hot water, and then start drinking. Can I actually do that? You could do that as well. Like absolutely. a soup. Absolutely, like a soup. Oh, exactly. Cool. Imagine how nice and warm that would be. Yeah, sort of the <laughs> beefy, meaty sort of flavour. Mind you, but you're missing the real part. And come on, you are South African. What do you guys want? Meat. Yeah? <laughs> so how about just do it this way, follow the recipe, right. and hey, you're cool. winning. So how far are we now in the recipe? Right, we're just sort of just softening everything up now. We just want to sort of just get all that little bit of steam left there so it browns really nicely there. And literally, we're just basically done. We're going to pour some milk in. Mm -hmm. We're just going to bring that up to the boil. Add in our, our packet, our, 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 our packet of, of flavour component, which is the beef stroganoff, which is now going to just thicken everything. And then I'm literally just going to sort of chop up some herbs there, throw it in, and then I'm going to dish it up, and wham, there you got rice, beef stroganoff. This had better done. be good, man. I'm sure it is going okay, to be there we absolutely go. Cool. fantastic there. I'm, I'm your man to help whatever Right, whatever fantastic. Well, how about we get you in the kitchen? How about you slice this here? Come now, on. With saying like parsley there, you know, it's all bit spindly and it's all bit all, all over the show yes. and all the rest of it there. Just what we're going to do is just break off the actual. Um, Stalks, if you Stalks will. Stalks there. Yes. And literally, all you need to do is scrunch all that up in, a, in your hand. Just scrunch it in your left hand there. Just bring okay. it all together there. So like, not just, just scrunch it all up. So it's all up, like, like as in the ball. Okay. On the ball. On the, on the board, just pop, the pop board. it onto yeah, the board yeah, there. Yeah, there it is. And right, with your knife there, I want you to start very, sli just slice that there as finely as possible as you can there. Push your knife forward, rocking it forward okay. there. Really important, rocking your knife forward. Pushing it forward oh, there wow. very slightly. Look at that. Really nice Oh there. my gosh, all I'm doing through. this. Brilliant. Go, your master. You cook at home every day. I'm totally doing this. You've been in the kitchen all day. That's what you've been. You've been practicing. And you can. When you when you break it, you can actually get the flavors. You smell the flavors. Well, you can get all the it. wonderful aromas coming yeah. through as, as as well there. Oh, so there nice. it is. There. All your pretty quick, uh, all chopped up really quickly. How there. fine do you want it? And there, that's absolutely perfect. I want you to run your knife through it. The moment you run your knife through it, you're gonna start to bruise it. Okay. So let me just pop that to the side there. That's great. Now, <laughs> I did that. So you might like, or you might not like at all. I'm gonna take some basil. Now, the basil term that we're gonna do is called a chiffonade of basil. A chiffonade. A chiffonade. So imagine walking through, you're just a quick chiffonade of basil onto your actual, your dish there. Um, chiffonade. Chiffonade of basil. How okay. fancy that is. It's actually a tobacco term there. Right, before we start slicing, I'm going to add the milk into my pan here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And come that's going to come up to the boil very, very quickly there. Get in there. So as I said, back to the basil here. So chiffonade of basil there, leaf on top of a leaf on top of a leaf. Uh -huh. And it's actually from the tobacco term. Okay. And we roll the leaves up together and then very finely slice it. So I'm going to take the ends off there. Okay. And I'm literally just going to rock and chop there. And you can see these sort of spindly so bits there. So actually, if you ever take a cigarette apart, you open it up, take all the tobacco out, that's what it actually looks like. But really finely sliced <laughs> there. And there we go. Lovely chiffonade of basil from the tobacco term. As long as you're not smoking, so, that's right. Absolutely. So anyway, don't smoke this. This is going to go into here just to finish this off here. there. Cool. Right, we're going to take our um, beef stroganoff here. Literally just tear that open there Dude. and pop that in there. There's no time for scissors. You know, it's quick, easy, convenient sort of cooking at the end of the day. I got so the let's get all that in there. That I was gonna... Right, okay. really nice and easy there. Pop that into there. That's about a half a packet. That's half a packet. Yeah, I've got a half times recipe here. So I've just got a much smaller sort of recipe here. Cool. That's all going to come together. And it's as simple as that, all coming together. You can see how that's sort of okay. thickened up there really nicely all of a sudden there. Get your snout in there. Give a bit of a oh, smell there. Yes. Okay. Get all of those peppers there. Just warm those peppers up yes. there. And literally just going to start finishing off that there with a little bit of basil, a little bit of parsley there. Mm -hmm. Scrape all that into there, all those lovely flavours. And Again, bring that up. Look how lovely and thick it's become. It's just looking so creamy. It's just oozing flavor. Yeah. Lovely bit of color, that green and that all coming through. And literally, there we go. Beautifully done. 
nice and simple. Man. So, just to serve, I'm going to serve with some rice and tie it up to you. Might have some couscous, there's another option there as well. Mm -hmm. Recipe says rice there, great. Come to, just absorbs all those lovely juices there. At the awesome. End of the day there. So, I've got some pre cooked rice here there. Lovely. So, let's just spoon that up there. So, a little bit of hot rice into your bowl there. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and then let's go across and let's get some of this beautiful ah, stroganoff man. that we've cooked up there. You know how I so, know that when, when food is going to be good? When my tummy starts singing just before I sing it. Singing already. Bom, already. Bom, bom, bom. There we go. Bom, Lovely bom. bom. In a bowl, bom, bom. nice and comfort there. How about just sitting with that man there? alive? Devour that there. So, ah. when you're stuck in, there's a fork there. One and man. Devour. One desire. Stroganoff in the mouth. Okay. Got to get into this now. Come on, you it's hot, get, it's hot. It's gonna be hot, so it's blown up very slightly, but right. actually get that meatiness, that creaminess, that mushroominess there, lovely sweet pepper, and oh, there's fresh basil, that fresh parsley coming through. Wonderful combination of flavors just working mm. so well. So, what are you thinking? Your eyes are closed. Must oh, be good. Happy day. Man, this is good. Yeah, that good. Okay, well, just, I, I'm, I'm gonna take to this job. You tell the audience that we'll be back after right, this break. You enjoy that. Anyway, great for joining. Thanks for joining us. We'll be right back after this break. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.